Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli and today we are going to see that how we can automate Calendly with Pabli Connect. So Calendly is a popular online scheduling tool that simplifies the process of booking appointments and meetings. It eliminates the back and forth communication that typically occurs when trying to find a suitable time for meetings by allowing users to share their availability and let others book time slots directly on their calendar. So Calendly integrates with various calendar platforms like Google Calendar, Outlook and iCloud and this ensures real-time syncing and preventing double bookings. So Calendly offers some key features like easy scheduling, calendar syncing, reminders and notification, customizable time slots and integration capabilities. So Calendly integrates with tools like Zoom, Slack, Salesforce and emails marketing services to enhance scheduling and communication processes. So why do we use Calendly? So Calendly saves time, improves efficiency, it also shows professionalism and also with Calendly we can automate workflows. So Calendly integration allow users to automate repetitive scheduling tasks, freeing up time and that freeing up time for more important work. So why do we need to automate Calendly with Pabli Connect? So Pabli Connect allows you to extend Calendly's capability by automating workflows after an appointment is scheduled and this helps in reducing manual work and ensure that important tasks are completed without human intervention. So here we are going to see that how we can automate Calendly with Pabli Connect and how we can simply connect Calendly inside Pabli Connect. So by automating Calendly with Pabli Connect, we can create an efficient seamless workflow that can take care of booking confirmations, reminders, record keeping and team communication. So this ensures that I can focus more on my core work while routine tasks are managed automatically in the background. So here for setting up these amazing automation and for automating Calendly with Pabli Connect, what we need to do is we need to use Pabli Connect. So for using Pabli Connect, I need to open a new tab and I need to search for pabli.com slash connect in my browser and this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Now here in the landing page, I have these two options of sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then we can just click on this sign up for free button and this will take only two minutes of our time and we will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account, we can just sign in and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I just need to click on this access now button under Pabli Connect and it will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here in the dashboard, what I need to do is I need to create a new workflow and for creating a new workflow, I need to click on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to automate Calendly using Pabli Connect. Now what I need to do is I need to click on create and this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. And here in this window, we have these two boxes of trigger and action. So trigger and action are the two main principle on which our workflow works on and trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action is just going to follow that. So here in our workflow, we can only set up single trigger step and multiple action steps. So here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can connect Calendly in your trigger step and in your action steps too. So as you are going to connect Calendly with Pabli Connect, then you can automate Calendly with multiple applications and you can create automation according to your use case. So suppose if you want to send emails automatically to the new invitees, then you can connect Calendly with Gmail and whenever you will receive a new invitee added for your meeting, then you will automatically send a personalized email to your invitee. Also, if you want to keep the record of all your invitees, then you can connect Calendly with Google Sheet and you will automatically add all the invitee details in your Google Sheet. So just like this, you can create more automations with the help of Calendly and Pabli Connect. So here first I'm going to connect Calendly in my Triggers tab. So I'm going to search for Calendly here and I need to select Calendly here. Now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and here I have all these trigger event. So I can use all these trigger event like invitee created by organization, invitee created by the user, invitee cancelled by the organization, invitee cancelled by the user and new outing form submission. Now here for setting up my trigger, I'm going to use this particular trigger event of invitee created organization. So I'm going to select this and now I'm going to connect Calendly with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection 
And now I have to click on connect with Calendly. So I'm going to click here. And here my connection is successful. Now here I have connected Calendly with Pabli Connect as I have already logged into my Calendly account in my browser. So it has detected that and it has automatically connected Calendly with Pabli Connect. So it is advised to open your application that you want to connect in your browser so that it will automatically detect in Pabli Connect. Now here I have these two options of organization and the user. So I'm going to open this tab of organization and here in my Calendly account I only have one organization. So I'm going to select that and I can even select my user. So I'm going to open this tab and here again I have only one user in my Calendly account. So I'm going to select that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save and send test ticket button. So I'm going to do that. And here we can see it is waiting for response. So for getting this response, what I need to do is I need to first create a new invitee in my Calendly account for any meeting. And as I'm going to create a new invitee by organization, then automatically I'm going to get the response of that invitee here in Pabli Connect. So here I have this important note that says, make sure you have a Calendly Pro plan in order to use this integration. So if we want to use this integration and we want to create automation with Calendly, then we need a Calendly Pro plan. Now for getting this response, I'm going to take you to my Calendly account. And here I have this particular event of 30 minute meeting in my Calendly account. So I'm going to open this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new invitee for this particular event. So I'm going to view the live page of this meeting. And here this is my booking page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first create a new booking for my invitee. So I'm going to first select a date. So I'm going to select this date of 23rd of September. I'm going to select my time that will be 9.30 AM. I'm going to click on next. And I need to fill all the detail of my invitee here. So here the first name of my invitee is going to be Michael. I'm going to give the last name and the last name will be Karis. Email will be michaelkaris at the rate pablitudes.com and I'm going to give a random phone number. Now here I have filled all the required details of my invitee. Now what I need to do is I need to click on this button of schedule event. And here I have successfully scheduled this event and I have created a new invitee by organization. So as I've created this invitee, then what should happen is that automatically the detail of that invitee should be sent to Pabli Connect. So to check whether I've received this data in Pabli Connect or not, let me take you to Pabli Connect. And here in Pabli Connect, we can see I have received this response. So in this response, I have all the detail of my invitee that I've just created in Calendly. And here I have the first name of my invitee that is Michael. I have the last name that is Karis. I have the email address that is michaelkaris at the rate pablitudes.com. I have also received the created at date and time. So at this date and time, I have created this invitee. Also in this, I have the phone number of my invitee. So here we can see I have used all these details to create a new invitee in Calendly for my event. And as I've created that invitee, then automatically I've received all the detail of that invitee here in Pabli Connect. Now here we can see that as I've connected Calendly in my triggers tab, I have automatically received that response from Calendly for my invitee created. And here I have received this response because I have used this trigger event of invitee created. So here by following all these steps, we can connect Calendly with Pabli Connect in our triggers tab. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can connect Calendly in our action step too. So for this, I need to open this tab of action step and I need to search for my action application that is going to be Calendly. So I'm going to search for that. I'm going to select Calendly here. And now I have to give my action event. So I'm going to open this tab. And here I have all these action events like cancel event, get event types, get user by ID, get invitee, get an event and custom API request. So if we want to cancel any specified event, then we can use this action event. If we want to get the event type, then we can use this action event. Also, if we have the user ID, then we can get the user detail by using this action event of get user by ID. We can get the detail of the invitee by using this get invitee action event. And also we can get the detail of the event by using get an event action step. Also, if we want to run some special API request, then we can use this custom API request as an action event and it will execute custom API request using the authorized connections. Now here for connecting Calendly in my action step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this particular action event of get invitee. So I'm going to select this. And now I need to connect Calendly with Pabli Connect in my action step. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection and similarly I have to click on connect with Calendly. 
and here I have successfully connected Calendly with Pabbly Connect. Now here for getting my invitee detail, what I need to do is I need to give my scheduled event ID and also I have to give the email address. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my response from my trigger step and I'm going to map those details so that I can get the invitee detail that I have just created in Calendly. So I'm going to use my response of my previous tab and I'm going to map those details here in this tab and for that I need to use mapping. So what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping I need to click here, I will open this response of Calendly. Now here this is the response of Calendly and in this I have this label of resource event and in this resource event I have my event id after this event slash. So this code after this slash is my event id so I need to use this but with my event id I'm also receiving this url. So what I need to do is I need to split this event id and this url so that I can only use the event id for getting the invitee detail and for this what I can do is I can use a tool that Pabbly Connect offers and that is text formatted by Pabbly. So I'm going to add one more action step here. Here I'm going to search for my tool that is text formatter by Pabbly. So I'm going to search for that and I'm going to select text formatter here. Now I have to give my action event so I'm going to open this tab and split text will be my action event so I'm going to select this. And now I'm going to connect text formatter by Pabbly with Pabbly connect. So I'm going to click on connect. And now I have to give a text to split. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Calendly. And here I'm going to use this text to split. So I'm going to select this. And now I need to give a separator. So here I'm going to use this slash as my separator. So I'm going to type that here. And now I have to give my segment index. So here I have this event ID in the last. So I'm going to use last here. And now I have to click on save and send test to quit button. So I'm going to do that. And here we can see I have received my event ID in the result. Now what I need to do is I need to use this event ID and I need to map this in my step of Calendly get invitee. So I'm going to open this tab. And now I'm going to map my schedule event ID. So I'm going to map that. And I'm going to map that from this response of text formatter by Pabbly. And here this is my event ID. So I'm going to map this. Now I have to give the email address. So this is not a required detail. And by filling out this email, we will get the specific detail of an invitee. And if we don't fill this detail, then we will get all the detail of the invitee that we have in this scheduled event. Now I'm going to give my email ID that I've received as I have created a new invitee in Calendly. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Calendly. And here this is the email address. So I'm going to map this. And now I'm going to click on save and send test to good button. Now here in this response we can see I have received all the detail of my invitee that I've created for my scheduled event. So here this is the same detail that I've used to create a new invitee in Calendly. And as I filled those detail in my action event, I have received that invitee detail. So here the email address is michaelcarus at the rate pablitudes.com. I have the first name that is Michael. I have the last name that is Carus. This is the full name that is Michael Carus, And I have the random phone number. So here we can see like this, we can connect Calendly in our actions tab. And in our actions tab, we can use any action event that we want to use according to our use case. And also like this, by connecting Calendly in Pabbly Connect, we can create multiple automations so here we have seen that how we can connect Calendly with Pabbly Connect and we have connected Calendly in Trigger and Action Steps too. Now by using these connections we can create our own automations and we can connect Calendly with different applications too. And here we have successfully automated Calendly with Pabbly Connect. Now you can create amazing automations with Calendly and Pabbly Connect and if you want to learn about more automations that you can create with Calendly then you have to check out our YouTube library where we have created videos on multiple automations with Calendly. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabbly Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate and if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabbly.com and if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.